Hey, my name is Mike Smith, and I've uh, been a hobbyist for uh, about eight years, since 2009, with the uh, Mac membership and playing around with the helicopters and airplanes, and now into the multi-rotors, the UAVs, which are really taking off. Just to be brief and give you a quick idea of what a UAV is, there are many names for them, including drones, UAS, which is an unmanned aircraft or aerial system, UAV, which is an unmanned aerial vehicle. A UAV is an aircraft without a human pilot on board. UAVs are a component of an unmanned aircraft system, which is the UAS, which include a UAV, a ground-based controller, and a system of communications between the two. Unfortunately, the name drone can give a negative impact for some or give the uh, immediate idea of war, what the public has to understand is today's small UAVs have so many new and positive avenues for growth for the economy. There are very many applications that the UAVs are used for, including the most common, which would be military, or situations where a manned flight is considered too risky or difficult. But here are some of the, let's call them new and positive jobs that UAVs are getting used for today. A unique one is hurricane hunting. The UAV can charge into the heart of the storm without risking human life, giving new data for study. Using the camera on the UAV for mapping today is a big one, offering 3D modeling, surveying, to measure distances between objects, protecting wildlife. Thermal imaging can monitor wildlife populations or map roads and wetlands for land management purposes. Farming, this one is new and growing faster than anything. From inspecting irrigation, looking for a, a lost nozzle, checking crops with the aerial photos, or just simply counting cattle. Another one is search and rescue, and the use of UAVs in this application is a true blessing. Imagine an area that would take days to be searched, can now take a drone only a couple of hours, and save lives. And finally, for recreation, hobbyists are loving being able to take those family shots and selfies you could only dream of getting. As a UAV hobbyist, I've never had the pleasure of profiting from flights, but over the years I've sure been able to capture moments and memories from the air that will last a lifetime. Some of them include Fairmount Hot Springs, which I've heard now is a no-fly zone, Lethbridge's favorite car show, Street Machine Weekend, camping and getting that bird's eye view from above. But one of my real favorites was when I was a volunteer firefighter and had the pleasure to get some aerial footage of a controlled burn of an old farmhouse. The number one thing we need from all UAV pilots is communication to CARAC about the new regulations coming in 2018. If you have comments or feedback about the new regulations, send them to the Canadian Aviation Regulation Advisory Council at CARAC at tcgc.ca. Without your feedback, you won't be heard. The new regulations for 2018 for UAV regulations coming into play and today's current regulations are in place for the public safety and pilot awareness of the proper flight regulations but the real issue with UAV regulations is public awareness if there's anything you take from this interview I would hope it is the importance of what it is required to enjoy the benefits of flying a UAV there are age restrictions and there are laws in place that can get you fines commercially as high as $25,000 and as high as $3,000 if you're flying recreational. What's really great about the new regulations coming for 2018 is you won't require an SFOC if you are a licensed, insured, and follow all the current regulations and laws. The three different levels of certification from Transport Canada allow for the pilot to have fewer restrictions. All current regulations and the new interim order and the regulations coming for 2018 can be found on the Transport Canada website. The number one reason I would have to say for UAV popularity is the ease of use and the amount of technology packed into such a small package. Because of their GPS and hovering capabilities, they almost fly themselves and only need direction from the pilot, making them one of the most simplest aircrafts to fly. But because of the vast uses for a UAV, just about anyone could find a use for one, from photography, vacation photos, farming, FPV racing, and even the vast amount of commercial applications, the number of UAV owners will only continue to grow. I would be more than happy to assist anyone looking to get into the hobby. My Facebook page is Canada UAV, or for current laws and regulations, you can visit the Transport Canada website.